hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you how I make plush characters. So, things like this, so I'm going to make the second paw of this today. Um, so you can see the sticky paw pads which are stuck with toy stuffing. So how to start this off, you're going to need to make a template. So, what you're going to need to get is, get your fingers like that. Um, so you can get your four fingers and the glove. Spread your hand out, grab your pen and simply draw around your hand like so. Now once you've got that outline, you then need to <coughs> add uh, your little round fingers, obviously neater than what I'm doing. Then you'll get something like that, and then all you need to do is get your scissors and cut around your template, and then you'll end up with this. Move all the papers on the side. You then get your fur. I'm using black, obviously, to make the second sample. Making sure you brush it to end up with the extra fur. Make sure the fur is going down, brushing it down towards the fingertip. So you lie that flat on the ground. And then you get your template and um, touching it, making sure the fur is brushing to the fingertip of that. Then what you need to do is um, get some tacky things like that I have here in a nice container. And with those tacking pins, you then tack around the edges of the template, making sure it's stuck firmly to the fur itself. And then, obviously, you get your scissors and then you cut out that shape. So, as you see here, I'm just finishing putting the tack into the fur. This will stop the template from moving around and making it a weird shape and uneven. So you can either get a pen and draw around the outside, uh, which is what I normally do, or you can just get the scissors straight away and cut at least a centimetre around the outside of your um, template so then you get that ex excess fur to sew on. Now once you finish cutting around your template, you take out all those um, tacking pins. So once you've taken out all the tacking pins, you can peel away your template and you've got one side of your fur. Obviously I've already cut out the other side to save time, so obviously repeat what you did on the first pull. But once you've got both four sides, you'll then need to pick a side to attach um, the paw pad. I use felt like this for the paw pads. Um, what I do is I cut a strip out for the uh, finger pads and I'll fold it in half and fold it in half again so you get the four layers for the each um, finger pad. Get a tacking pin and I tack it together to make sure it doesn't move around 
and Facebook just ruined my tutorial. <laughs> Alright, so you get your pen and um, you just go like an egg shape or a circle or like whatever shape your shaping them are gonna be. You sketch that on to your uh, felt. You don't have to be too neat as long as you cut it out neatly so you end up with that. Then what you do is, is you obviously cut that out making sure you stay um, close to the line if it's the specific size you want it to be. Also making sure all the sides are smooth so they're all as nice and pumpy that it might look to make the board look a bit tacky and horrible. So like you'll see I'm coming around the edges and um, knocking away any spiky bits that don't look quite right. So you end up with um, four little toes. So you get one little toe, you get two little toes, and you're tapping it down the peg. Three little toes, and obviously your fourth little toe. And obviously that will lie flat on um, each finger part there. That's just for guidance to where it will be. Then you get your uh, felt back again to do the um, to the palm part of the ball. So an easy way to do this is to um, do three little circles like a Venn diagram if you did that in school. So you start off with your first little circle. And then slightly to the left or to the right, you do another little circle, and obviously you do a third little circle. And this will be the shape of a cell ball, uh, ball palm. So you <coughs> will cut around the um, outside of the um, circles there. Obviously making sure you're cutting around it neatly. So that oh, keep throwing it around. Um so that um you don't obviously get these little spiky bits, um wobbly um shapes. I can get very nitpicky when I'm doing this, so I always almost always go through a lot of felt trying to make sure it's the right shape. bits that don't look right, reshaping it if one side is slightly wonky, etc. middle of your ball, just as you can see there. And um, obviously you're going to sew those pieces to the fur itself. So you need to get a thread that's a similar colour or a see-through thread to go through the felt. So I'm just tying a knot in my thread stay in place. What I forgot to do in the first pull uh, pad was to spin it in place so it didn't move around. But also, uh, when I'm sewing these on, uh, when you're sewing these on, don't sew all the way around it. Sew most of the way around it, but leave a bit at the end that you can stick your finger in, because that will be the next step. So, I do the back stitch when I'm sewing my uh, pieces together. 
if you don't have to do that, but that's what I'm most comfortable with. I'm very close to stabbing my finger, as you can see. is going to get the toy stuffing uh, which you can get from any craft store and um, so you have this and then you grab as little or as much as you want depending on how squishy you want your toy to be um, and obviously you put that stuff in and poke it through want in it. I don't like my toy pads being too like hard or not squishy enough. So when you're satisfied with how much uh, stuffing you have, then obviously you can um sew it and stuff. And just add a little bit more so I wasn't satisfied with how um fussy it they were. So obviously like I said, once you're happy with it then you can finish sewing it and stuff and um, obviously you do the same so that will be the finished thing obviously you do the same for each um, individual toes and the palm you do the same thing where you don't sew all the way around so you can stuff it so obviously you end up like that so you've got all the um, stuff pads on your glove and then you get the um, other piece slap that on top and then you get your attachment pins again and then obviously you tap around the, uh, the piece so you should end up with all tacked down nice and secure so it doesn't wobble move around and ruin your sewing And once you've finished sewing all around the edge, you can pull it inside out, which is a great struggle for me for some reason. But um, once you've got it all out, all the little toe pads, then you're um, complete. You'll have a nice plush paw. So I hope that helps you guys. Uh, make some plush paws and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.